thing. And then we saw smoke coming out and everybody started running out and we saw the plane on the other side of the building and there was smoke everywhere and people are jumping out the windows. Over there they're jumping out the windows, I guess because they're trying to save themselves. I don't know. And and I don't know, everybody just doesn't know where to go. They won't let everything is blocked off. You can't even they're telling us to get out, but there's nowhere to go. And then I heard that another plane hit. And if you go over by there, you can see the people jumping out the window. They're jumping out the window right now. Oh, my God. All right, ma'am, thank you. That is one of the witnesses to this extraordinary, these extraordinary events this morning here in New York. Um, again, uh, and I know that for many of you, you've heard this a lot, but I, I, I think it's important as people join us as they do in moments like this, they are coming in all the time, that there have been attacks in two American cities, New York and in Washington. The trade centers here in New York have been hit by airplanes. In Washington, there, has, there is a large fire at the Pentagon. The Pentagon has been evacuated. And there's, you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. Good Lord. There are no words. You can see large pieces of the building falling. You can see the smoke rising. You can see a portion of the, the, the side of the building now just being covered on the right side as I look at it, covered in smoke. This is just a horrific scene and a horrific moment. The president who is in Florida today is en route back to the White House. He took off a short time ago. The White House itself has been evacuated on the basis of what the Secret Service says was a credible threat on the mansion itself. We believe now that we can say that both, that portions of both towers of the World Trade Center have collapsed. Whether there were second explosions, that is to say explosions other than the planes hitting them that caused this to happen, we cannot tell you. Rose Arce, one of our CNN producers, is on the phone. Rose, what yes. do you got? I'm about a block away, and there were several people that were hanging out the windows right below where the plane crashed, when suddenly you saw the top of the building start to shake, and people began leaping from the windows in the north side of the building. You saw two people at first plummet, and then a third one, and then the entire top of the building just blew up, and splinters of debris are falling on the street. Where I'm right now, there's a thick plume of smoke, and you can see crowds of people, including emergency service workers and police officers, running from the scene, screaming, and, and there's, a, there's a school nearby where there were kids in the schoolyard. That has been emptied out, and they're running up the street now, too. The, the whole sort of the neighborhood, I'd say several blocks up, is covered by this almost powdery smoke, little tiny pieces of building you can see just floating in the, in the wind around it. It's almost like a huge cloud had, had kind of enveloped that part of lower Manhattan. Uh, it is just one of those awful moments that you need to look at for a minute or two to absorb exactly what has happened. 